What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace your old weathered rotten fascia on your house. Alright, if you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of these DIY house projects and automotive projects. Okay, let's get to it. So what I'm talking about is the fascia on the side of your house below your roofing. And as you can see, this one is badly rotten and weathered and it's got this fungus growing on it. You know, over the years it just gets damaged like this. So, uh, okay, first we're going to want to disconnect the downspout from the actual gutter. It's usually held in by some of these little quarter inch sheet metal screws. All right, now up here we're going to take the gutters off. It's held in by nails or screws on these little bracket things that go into the fascia. Get yourself a little pry bar. We'll get it under there. Rip out those nails. Okay, you're going to want to measure the lumber so you get the right lengths and you're going to want to measure to these rafter tails because that's what you're going to be uh, nailing it into and we also we're going to want to cut the joints on a 45 like this because uh, it looks a lot better than a butt joint and it'll butt up a lot better, be a lot cleaner look. Alright, so you're just going to want to take your little pry bar and your hammer and we're going to just uh, hammer out these, pry out these nails. There we go. Alright, so you may have some actually nails coming down through maybe a drip edge. So get yourself a, a pry bar and a little piece of wood. And you're going to put it underneath the back and wedge it in there. Pry up to get it separated all along down here till we can pull it off. All right, now let's cut the new pieces. It's a good idea to keep your old pieces if they were done right first and use those measurements to transfer over to our new ones. Go ahead and make sure you measure these ones at least a couple times because it can get kind of tricky with these uh, mitered angles. All right, now once you got them cut and fitted, it's best to go ahead and paint them while they're on the ground. It's a lot easier on your neck and back. Go ahead and put a couple coats of uh, primer, like a good Kills mold resistant primer, and then you're going to put uh, one to two top coats of a good exterior uh, acrylic paint. Alright, now let's put the fascia up. So we just lift it up, put in those miter cuts, slide it in like that, and we're going to want to start screwing or nailing it in from the center, and then work ourselves out so that it's nice and even. And uh, we're going to use screws because, you know, we don't want to split these old rafter tails. And let's go ahead and pre-drill our holes too. We're going to do one hole straight in and then we're going to come down about an inch and we're going to do that at an angle to match the angle of our rafter tail. Then we're going to use three inch exterior screws. Now you're going to want to get some good exterior silicone caulk and we're going to go ahead and caulk all the joints and the corners and the seams. Alright, so now all you need to do is hang your gutter back up and you are done with your fascia guys. Alright, if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY guys, keep on doing it yourself, take care.